Welcome back to my channel, my dear friends, and welcome newcomers. I hope you like what you see, and if so, be part of this journey with us. One big happy family. Thank you so much for your love and support, your beautiful comments, your suggestions, your opinions. Not so much for the criticism. There's still some of them here and there, which I have blocked a few again this week. There's no need to be nasty. There's no need to be unkind. If you don't like something, move on to something else or to another channel or to another pattern. As you wish. Nobody's perfect. We're far from being perfect. God couldn't please everybody. I can't either. Okay. Uh, four ply, 100% cut thread is most of the time uh, that I use for my patterns. These are Portugal brands. 2.75 hook, a small scissor to cut the loose ends, of course, and a small hook to tuck in the loose ends. I'd like to mention I do have a private crochet group. You're more than welcome to join as long as you have a profile pic. I also have TikTok and Instagram. All these links will be listed below in the description box. All the measurements, the sizes, the hook size uh, in the description box. Um, I also would like to thank... Uh, the women that came through helping others in need of thread by donating to my PayPal account. Thank you so much. Nancy McDonald, thank you so much for your donation. I love you so much. You are your one special gal in my heart. Let me tell you that. Um, God bless all of you. And uh, let's keep crocheting. Let's keep creating these beautiful pieces. Okay. So um, also inside the description box, there's a two minute link video to how to slow down the video or by touching your screen and you can zoom it in, just touch and bring out the picture. You can see the stitches more clearly. Okay. Okay. If I forget anything, I'll let you know during the video. Uh, thank you again. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free of charge. We go a long way in many, many hours, dedication hours, like there's no tomorrow to bring these patterns for you guys. I don't speak just for myself, but for many other creators, designers. Um, that's the only way we can keep going with these videos by having your, your subscriptions. It costs you nothing. And also by giving thumbs up, it helps to circulate, have YouTube to recognize that it's an important channel. They circulate worldwide, get more people to join the channel. It's the only way we can continue this way. Okay, so kindly thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell notification to be notified. And if possible, see the two second commercial. If it's long, you can cut through halfway, but at least watch a bit. It helps also the video. That's, you know, that's them with the commercial stuff. I have no control of it, but it does help the channel. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Let's get started. Okay, everyone. So we're going to create another beautiful round doily inspired by the beautiful Lusvania art crochet, which I absolutely love her uh, doilies, her work. She has a lot of similarities to my style. And I'm sure you guys are going to absolutely love this. So I'm going to create that. I might change up a, uh, a stitch a bit. So I'm going to use this beautiful blue. Um, I had done the last tutorial with this blue. There was a lot of comeback on it. And probably use white. If I don't use white, use white then I'll probably I change my mind a lot, people. You have to understand. So I'll probably use this uh, cream color, okay? So 2.75 hook, small one to tuck in loose ends. And of course, I keep smacking into my camera um, a pair of scissors, okay? Please, if you haven't subscribed, do so. It's free of charge. Like the channel, give a thumbs up on the video. It's extremely important to have YouTube recognize the channel and have it circulating. If possibly watch the commercials, go grab yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. If you're a smoker, have a cigarette or a biscuit and just let the commercial run because that helps the channel too. Not unless like it's a very long one, then watch a bit and then skip it. You know, I think that counts for watching. Okay, so we are going to get started. Thank you again, everyone. So the first thing I'm gonna do is my magic circle. So I basically just turn it like a next in my hand, grab the chain from behind, 
and do a slip stitch to secure it. I'm going to come back in with a single and chain two. This is my first double crochet. I'm going to continue to do double crochets inside of my magic circle. In case you can't, then you can do a five to six chain. Three. Four. Five. So we're going to do a total of 12 double crochets. This is row one. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished row one, going into row two. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to come back in the same stitch, stretch my thread a bit, single and one chain. So I have my first double crochet. We're having an increase in the same stitch. So we'll be having two double crochets per stitch, no chain space. Again, into the next one, two double crochets in the same stitch. This is row two. I'll meet you at the beginning of row three. Two double crochet per stitch. So I've done row two, going into row three. I've closed in with slip stitch, coming back in, stretching my thread, single, one chain. Coming back in the same stitch, having an increase of another double crochet in the same stitch. So it's two. Into the next one, we're doing one double crochet alone. Into the next one, two together. This is how we're going to proceed all the way around the same way. Just want to grab my thread here properly. So one double crochet alone two together in the same stitch, one double crochet alone, two together. I'll meet you at the end of my row. Two double crochet, one alone, two double crochet, one alone. I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So I'm going into row four, so I've closed in with the slip stitch. Another thing you can do if you don't, you know, if you guys have like a looser stitch, you don't want your your um, stitch and your double crochet to pop up when you go out your three chains or however you go up on the next row, just grab it, your thread to the back and then come into the next double crochet, stretch your thread to a single and one chain. If your stitch is tight, you can do a two chain. I'm coming back in again, creating another double crochet. So this is a good way in order not to have that line going up. My stitch is tight, so you can barely see it, but it's always good to teach you guys how to do it. So this time we're going to do two double crochet alone, right? Row three, we did one alone. Now we're having row four, two alone and two together. One, and two in the same stitch. One double crochet alone into the next stitch alone and two together in the same stitch. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row five. Now row five I've already closed in, did my first double crochet. On this row, we're going to do two together in the same stitch and three double crochet alone. So one per stitch. I have two and three. One, two, three. Now two together again. One, two. And three double crochets alone. Two together in the same stitch. Okay. By the way, these are four ply, 100% cotton thread. For a lot of you that don't know, these are Portugal threads, similar to Aunt Lydia number three cotton. My thread's a little bit thinner. Your patterns will become bigger by using Aunt Lydia number three. I'll meet you at the end of my row. 
carry one so one two three four five row five we're going to change up a bit going into row six i'm stretching my thread i'm going to come back in and i'm going to do a single this row will be this row uh, number six and seven is about single crochets and we're also going to do the increase on the same stitch so no different than what we did with double crochet but we're doing with single two singles on the same stitch and then one two three four and on my fifth I'm doing two in the same stitch and then again single one two three four and on my fifth I'm doing two singles on the same stitch row seven is exactly the same thing it's a repeat the difference is we're doing five singles and on the sixth we're doing an increase I'll meet you at the beginning of row seven so I finished row six closed in on my first single with a slip stitch I'm going to come back in that same single do a single and again the increase another single on the same stitch and then I'm going to count one two three four and five on my sixth one I'm doing two singles on the same stitch into the next one one two three four five single and in the same stitch single on my sixth one we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way I'll meet you at the end okay everyone so I finished row seven going into row eight and I'm coming in with my cream color so I'm going to start exactly where I left off I'm going to do a single and one chain so I'd have this as my um, <clears throat> excuse me half double crochet I'm going to come right behind it and do a half double crochet I'm going to skip a stitch coming into the next one and doing half double crochet coming inside of that half and doing another half so basically it's almost doing like sideway half double crochet skip a stitch into the next one half coming in that half and half again skip a stitch into the next one half coming in that half and doing half okay so sideways half double crochet try again skip a stitch half coming in behind and doing half skip a stitch half coming in and half we're going to do this all the way around the same way i'll meet you at the end okay everyone just finished row eight I'm going to row nine i'm going to come back in the same stitch and i'm going to do a single okay i'm going to do right here on top single so it's one per stitch but now okay let's retry that again 
Okay, just to make sure you guys got it. We have to do increase on our seven. So I've closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to do, better to do this way, one chain and single. And again, one more single on the same stitch. So I have an increase, two on the same stitch. Okay, into the next stitch one single, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and six singles on your seventh, two in the same stitch. Then again, one, two, three, four, five, six, on my seventh, two singles on the same stitch. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we finished row nine going into row ten. Now we're gonna flip our pattern the other way. Should tuck in this string here just to hide it not to be in the way. So I'm just gonna pull it through my stitches here on the ring a few times. Make sure it goes around so it doesn't come apart. Okay, so we're going to work on the back part of the pattern. I'm using a different blue. I want to make sure that I catch this here properly. And I'm going to do a slip stitch knot and one, two, and three chain. I'm going to come back into that first and create, I know it's always a little bit hard at the beginning, but okay, so we'll do one more chain, four chain. Coming into that first one and create double crochet. So basically what we're doing, we're trying to create like a little ring here, okay? I'm going to come inside of this double crochet with a single and one chain. So once we've done our double crochet, we're going to go on any of the stitches here. and pull through and come back in and do six more double crochets. So we'll have a total of seven double crochets. So far I have four, five, six, and seven. So we're on the back part of the pattern. Okay, everyone, so I have my seven double crochets, I'm going to do chain three. One, two, and three. I'm going to come back in and do a single. I'm going to turn to the back this stitch. I'm going to come back in 
that three chain we just did to hook in the ring with a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. I'm going to continue and do seven double crochets total again. I have four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three chain, come back in and close it with single. I'm going to turn my pattern back again and so I'm going to turn it. I'm going to come in that ring, that three chain we just did, single and two chain. So that's my first double crochet. So we have it on backwards. Now we need to count one, two, three on the fourth. Try to put it this way, will be, will be better. On the fourth, again we're hooking in. And we're going to do the seven double crochets. Three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain three, come in, single. Turn around, come inside of those three chains we did, single, two, chain, and do your seven double crochets. Three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three chain, come in, single, turn around, coming in again, single, two chain. Again, we're going to count this is on backwards. One, two, three, on my fourth. And coming in again and doing the seven double crochets. If you need to rewind and pause, look at it, take your time with it, go ahead. Two, four, six, seven, one, two, and three. And I'm coming back in with a single. Turn around. We're going to work inside of this three chain we just did. Now you can see where you have to hook, okay? You don't hook these ones here, so you know you have seven to do. Four, five, six, and seven double crochet. One, two, three chain. Coming back in, single, turn around. Coming inside of that three chain we just did, single and two chain. So you know that you're hooking. So one, two, three on my fourth stitch. Coming back in and complete your seven double crochets. It's a little bit different than usual, but it's a beautiful pattern. 
two, four, six, and seven. One, two, three, chain, come in, single. Turn around, so this is what it looks like, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I'm basically on my last one here. And as you see, we have only three left because we need to hook it on here. So I've hooked my last one. I have six double crochets only. I am going to come on the very first one here that we did, and I'm going to uh, hook my sixth double crochet and then come back in, not six, seven double crochet. So, two, four, six, and seven. Okay, so I hooked with my six and did another double crochet. I'm going to do one, two, and three chain. I'm going to hook it on this double crochet here with a slip stitch. Okay, so on the very first one there. I'm going to turn around, come inside of that three chain, single, two chain, one, two, three, four, five, six, and my seventh would be this chain here, okay? So I'm just going to come on that first single that we did, Try that again, because I don't want to be pulling threads here. And slip stitch. If you need to rewind it again, go ahead. Okay, so I have, I'm going to count from this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I'm going... Um, let me just see for a second. So I've cut on my thread. You can continue with the same colors if you like. I'm going to come back in with my blue on the very first one. I love the details to this pattern. I think it's gorgeous. And I wanted to bring out the effect. So we're going to turn our pattern to the right side now, okay? We're going to work on the right side. I'm going to skip that first double crochet. You can start anywhere. And I'm going to do a single into the next stitch, single again. I'm going to do five chain. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip the first double crochet into the second with single and single. So we're doing two singles. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the first double crochet into the second and into the third. We're going to repeat this all the way around. And I hope I'm not too high on the camera. One, two, three, four, five. Skip that first double crochet come into the second with single and into the third with single. Sometimes I get distracted and get off camera. We don't want that, right? And this room is such a bright room. It's full of windows, just amazing. Uh, but it comes a certain time. There is no blinds in the room. It's supposed to be like a flower room, plant room or something like that. She, my sister was kind enough to lend me the room for tutorials. So there's no blinds, no curtains, no nothing. Just a lot of lightning. It comes to a certain time that the sun hits in and here it starts. You know, uh, for that reason, you'll see sometimes my recordings with a bit of sun coming through. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. 
Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished doing all of my five chains and my two singles. So I'm going to do one chain. I hooked in with a slip stitch on my first single. I'm coming back in and doing a single. So single on each single, one per stitch inside of this five chain. We'll be doing five singles, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. And one per stitch. Single over single. Inside of the five chain, five singles. Three, four, and five. And one single per stitch which is the two singles, okay? So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished all my singles. I'm going to count this row as row 13, and I'll explain to you why. It's kind of hard to say, you know, with these ones here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the two rows of the singles. Eight, the sideway double crochet, uh, half double crochet, eight, singles, nine, 10, 11, the two singles and the five chain, 12 and 13. Well, count it that way so there is no confusion. So going to row 14, I'm gonna come back in after I've closed with slip stitch, do a single and two chain. This is my first double crochet. I'm going to do double crochet one per stitch all the way around. There is no increase in this row or on this row. So just one double crochet per stitch. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished all my double crochets. Now we're going to continue to do two more rows. Repeat exactly what we've just done with the double crochets. So it's a total of three rows, no increases, just double crochet over double crochet. So I'm on my second row of these double crochets. That means... Um, we are, let me just recount because I get lost myself. So row 15 and 16, also a repeat. Double crochet, one per stitch. So I'll meet you at the end of row 16 because 14, 15, 16 is just a repeat. Double crochet over double crochet. Okay, so I have one more row and then I'll come back to you at the end of the next row, which is row 16. Okay, everyone, so I finished row 16, going into row 17 now. Row 17, we're going to start the increases. Okay, so I'm coming back in, stretching my thread. Single one chain. That's my first double crochet. Here's my increase. Two together on the same stitch. Now I'm going to do one per stitch 13 times. That's not counting my two. Okay, so right after my two, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen double crochets alone. On my 14th, I'm doing two in the same stitch. 
And then again, repeat. 13, double crochets alone, one per stitch. And on your 14th, we're doing the increase, two together. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So on to row 18. Now, if you want to do an increase, you can continue. If you want your pattern bigger, you can continue more rows of double crochet. Just keep increasing. So this row we did 13 alone. We went into the 14. That means the next row you would do two together and 15 alone and go into the, um, sorry, 14 alone and go into the 15. Okay, we did 13 on this one. I'm not going to go bigger than this, so I'm going to stop. I mean, not bigger than this. I don't want it to be that big, so I'm going to stop here because this is just a sample for you guys. So I'm going to do um, one chain, come back in, and we're going to basically repeat what we've done here with the singles, okay? So single, and we must um, we must do the increase. So I'm going to come back in again with another single. So two singles on the same stitch, coming into the next one. Two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 12, 13, 14, okay? And on my fifteenth, I'm doing two singles, so 14 alone, and on your 15th, do two singles, that's the increase, okay? So I will meet you at the end of this row. 14 singles alone, on your 15th, two together. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished row 17. Going into row 18, coming back in with the cream, and we're going to repeat the half double crochets. So you can start pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to just come on any of them, create a single one chain. So I'll have my first half, and go around it again and do another half. Skip one space, going to the next. Do half, come back in. Try to fix this a little bit better. Stretch it a bit, and another half. Skip a space into the next one. We're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going to row 19. And row 19 is very simple, so I'm going to do one chain. I'm going to come back in and do a single. I'm going to have an increase of another single inside of the same stitch. I'm coming right on the next stitch right here with one single. So I'm not going to count these two singles. I'm going to start counting from here. We have to do 16 singles. And, and on the 17th one, we have the increase exactly how we did here. So coming in, so I have, this is my second, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and my 16th single, not counting the two here at the beginning. On my 17th, I'm going to do an increase on the same stitch, two together, and then count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, until you have 16 again, and on your 17th, you add two together. I'll meet you at the end. I want to mention also that the half double crochets, you must have even number. I have 96, and I had to skip two space in order to have 96. I didn't want to add extra ones. If I uh, was going to add extra ones, that means I would have to not skip a space. So on my last one, I had skipped two singles here to get my 96 half double crochets. Okay, so as long as you have even number, Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished row 19, going to row 20, which will be exactly the same thing as we've done on here. So I'm coming back with my blue, and I'm going to do a four chain, not counting the slip stitch. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to come on that first one, first chain, and I'm going to do a double crochet. So it becomes like a little circle, in other words. I'm coming inside of that double crochet with single and two chain. Now you can pretty much grab where you want it on here. We must turn the pattern backwards and I'm going to grab any space here, any stitch, okay? So I've done a slip stitch through it. I'm going to come back in and do my uh, six more double crochets. So two, so I have three, um, three already with the one that we hooked. Four, five, six, and seven total. So that means you've done your first one and six more, okay? I'm going to do one, two, and three. Coming back in, slip stitch. Now, we don't need to turn the whole pattern. All we need to do is turn the blue one here. Coming again inside of that three chain we did. Try to hide this little thing here, little string. Maybe I can hide it through here. So I'm coming inside of that three chain that we just did with a single and two chains. So my first double crochet, I'm going to have a total of seven double crochets, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished, and I've turned my pattern backwards, exactly how we did with this one here. I'm going to do a four chain, not counting the slip stitch. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to come back on the first one and do a double crochet. So 
And in other words, I'm creating that first little ring like we did with this one here. Coming back in that double crochet I just did with a single and two chain. You can grab on any of these and I'm going to close it in slip stitch coming back in that double crochet and I'm going to do six more double crochets so I'll have a total of seven double crochets I have two, four, five, six, and seven. Chain three. Coming back in with a single. I'm going to turn my little pattern. Turn it. Come back in that three chain you just did. Single, one, two chain. So that's my first double crochet. I'm going to complete seven double crochets all together inside of that three chain we created. So I have two, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, chain. Coming inside again, the same space, and create a single. I'm going to turn it back again. Coming in, creating single and two chain. So that's my first double crochet. So I'm going to count again, still with my pattern backward, I'm trying to move my strings here. So one, two, three on my fourth, hooking it onto my pattern, coming back in and doing six more double crochets. So that's a total of seven. I have four, five, six, and seven. Chain three. Coming back in, single. I'm going to turn my pattern, not the pattern itself, but the little motive here. And coming in that chain we worked, creating single, two chain. Create your seven double crochets. No different than what we did with the other one. So we have four, five, six, and seven. And chain three. One, two, and three because we always work inside of these chains. Turn your pattern again. And again, you're going to come inside of that chain three with a single two chain. Again, we'll be hooking onto the pattern. So you always have the right side into the wrong side, and this right side up here will be on the right side. So after you've created your double crochet, single, two chain, or however you do a three chain, one, two, three, on the fourth, hook, slip stitch, come back in, create your six more double crochet with the one you hook, total of seven four, five, six, and seven. 
chain three, come inside, single, turn your pattern, the little motive here, not the pattern completely, it always has to stay on the wrong side, come inside of that chain, and create your seven double crochets, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, come back in, single. Turn your pattern again, and we're gonna hook it onto the pattern again. So single, chain two, working inside that three chain, and then count again. One, two, three, on your fourth, slip stitch. And then do your six more double crochets. With the one you hooked, gives you a total of seven. So we're gonna repeat this all the way around. If you need to rewind the videos and put it on slower, then go ahead to your settings on the three little buttons up top of the video and slow down the video. Two, four, five, or zoom in the stitching on your screen. Two, four, six, total seven. And then one, two, three, come in and single. Okay? So, We'll have, this is on the back part, and the one here is on the right. But when you turn it, this will be on the back part, the bottom one, and this one will be on the right side. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I'm on my very last one. Okay, we're still backwards. And I'm going to tie it, one, two, three, on my fourth, and do my uh, only six, so one, two, three, that's included with the one we hooked, four, five, and six, okay? On our seventh one, we're gonna do an incomplete, and we're gonna come and hook it right at the beginning here where we started that first double crochet, pull it through and slip stitch, okay? Now we're going to do a three chain, one, two, and three, come back in, and close it with single, okay? We're going to turn, come in, do your seven, or actually six double crochets, I should say, not seven, six, so you have three, four, five, six, and our seventh would be this chain here. So I'm just gonna hook it right at the edge here with a slip stitch, okay? And another slip stitch, just to make sure that nothing comes apart. So pretty much have all of them in. And secure it. And then tuck in your loose ends. It's working pretty beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so on to the next. Okay, so on to the last row. We're pretty much done with it. I'm coming back with my cream. 
and I'm coming in that first double crochet and I'm grabbing it's always harder when you grab the first one but basically uh, back loops so I've done a um, slip stitch I'm going to come back in and do a single so all this row will be about singles but I'm going to use back loops only so six singles and on my seventh one I'm going to do a slip stitch okay and then one two chain coming again into that first <clears throat> like that using back loops if you want to use front loops that's fine but I think you know uh, it looks much nicer this way and so we'll just continue that way six singles again so it's just singles very easy and on my seventh one I'm going to do a slip stitch chain two coming in that first double crochet with single back loops single single so you do your sixth single and on the seventh slip stitch chain two and again just a repeat of all the singles again okay so this does it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it i love it thank you so much lusvania art crochet i will leave her link below in the description box you could always Go to your settings on the video and put the language you would like because her videos are in Portuguese. She's from Brazil. Okay, so thank you so much, everybody. If you have not subscribed, please do so. If you uh, like the videos, of course, give a thumbs up. It's extremely important for the channel. God bless you. I send you so much love and so much hugs. And prayers and I also need prayers for myself and my family please be kind and pray for us too until next time everyone thank you bye bye